going to try to get a good video of my new mech theme. Um, as soon as I get to BIOS, I'm going to hit start on this stopwatch. I've been achieving a startup time of between 21 and 22 seconds uh, with my solid state drive and a little bit of optimizing. So we'll see how fast I get this time. Uh, for anyone else watching this, I'm making this video for a family member, so I'm going to explain some stuff. I'll try to keep that at the end, but most of the mech theme stuff I'll keep right in the uh, right in the beginning. Sensors online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. So that was 21 seconds, which is really good. It's really well, it looked like 21 seconds. It's kind of hard to tell while looking at three or four different things at once. <laughs> All right, so let's just pan back a little bit. Um, here are my normal icons, here are my folders, and then down here I've got my games, and I've got them placed in these spots where your items would normally be in Hawken. Uh, Hawken and Mech Purists are probably going to rage when they see this video because I have a Hawken cockpit uh, template that was provided by a, a user on the uh, community forum for Hawken, um, but I'm using Mech Sounds. I think Mech 3 had one of the best sounds of any game of its time. And I think the Hawken, Hawken cockpit looks pretty cool, and it worked for what I needed. Uh, so I've got my games over here on the left, and on, on my other monitor here on the right, I've got uh, my hardware utilities and things of that nature, and bench tests. Um, so I've set up on the other monitor, I've set up all of my GPU uh, monitoring equipment, and then I've got my CPU monitoring equipment here. Uh, this is just a disk manager, it's Daemon Tools. Um, so I can actually uh, try and get some of these sounds going here. Um, one of my favorite ones is when I take uh, and plug something in. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the tablet I'm recording with here. So plug in a USB device. I don't know why it stuttered there. That was the first time it's done that, but okay. There it is. And then let's create an error or a warning by deleting a file that can't be recovered. You get the mech lab error noise. So yes, we want to delete it. And then let's go over to my recycle bin and we'll permanently erase that file. Plays the coolant flush from mech 3. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my device now. And some of the other miscellaneous little dings um, and uh, chime noises I've replaced uh, with other things that make sense. Um, I don't want to open my email. What do I want to open? <laughs> Drivers and utilities. This will be fine. Um, I use the zoom noise for my minimize and maximize, which I actually really, really like how that one turned out. Um, There's got to be something else cool. Oh, right. Let's uh, let's cause an overheat real quick. I'm gonna run Prime 95 to look for Mercene Primes, and it's, I've set it really low so it'll go off. It should go off at 52 degrees. And if you look at my monitoring equipment right now, we're at 49 and rising. Uh, for anyone wondering, well, I'm not gonna talk. It's gonna go off. So I thought that was pretty appropriate. So let's go ahead and kill that test. Um, for anyone who's wondering about my temperatures, I'm running a Hypo 212 Plus, the single fan, um, and I'm running a 1.5 volts on a 955 uh, Black Edition processor. Uh, it's a very stable overclock. I'm running a 215, if you can see, core clock, or a uh, front side bus, if, whatever you want to call it. And I'm running an 18.5 multiplier. Um, but as you can see right now, it's down to 900 megahertz instead of 4 gigahertz, which is really good. Um, I've set up some energy saving stuff and be a little easier on my processor. And my GPU does the same thing. Um, as I need it, I'm using a GTX 650 Ti. I just got it, yeah, 650, um, which runs really great, by the way. Um, it's a little more difficult to overclock, but uh, basically it will automatically adjust as you need it to. Um, as long as your heat doesn't get higher than, I think, 80 degrees. So that's really good. Um, 
All right, and I'm going to go ahead and hit shut down. I believe that is, I believe that's all of it. I haven't missed any cool ones. Oh, I should probably unmute first. Automatic shutdown sequence initiated. So yeah, that was it. Hope you liked it.